Hi, hello and welcome to my channel eltechnophilo.com. This is kind of experiment because this is the first time since 2008 that I will produce a content in other language other than my mother tongue, Espanol. So I have a favor and uh, something to request. Uh, request, patience, uh, and a favor, forgive me for my mistakes, talking, my grammar, my syntaxes. I don't know. I've been speaking English since I was uh, like a teenager and I've been working around the world in English too. So at the end, yes, I'm bilingual, but it's not my mother tongue. And this is an experiment. It's the first time since, since 2008 that I will produce a video. For me, it's a, a, a new challenge trying to reach different audiences um, in the world. I think that my path in technology here in Colombia and here in Latin America, it's enough to try to expose my content and my thoughts in other language different than Spanish. So uh, if you probably you don't know who am I uh, and the magic of the YouTube and Google's algorithm, uh, put my content in your, in your suggestions box. I'm a, a tech journalist from Colombia, my name my real name is Alejandro Gonzalez, but El Tecnófilo, it's my, uh, like my uh, AKA since 2008, and I've been producing tech content since then. Um, I'm, I already said I'm from Colombia. Uh, I speak English, I speak French, uh, also some Portuguese, but for this year, I decide to, or for this end of the year, I decide to, I don't know, put a challenge on me, trying to do the same uh, that I've been doing, but in English. So let's try it. So let's begin. This is the review of the new AMD RX 7800 XT review slash analysis, because you will find since yesterday, September the 6th, and uh, today is 7th, uh, a lot of content, a lot of benchmarkings, a lot of bars and pie charts, and it's all over the place. But there is, I think, th three things that I will I, I want to share with you because it, first, it happened to me. I have a system, uh, Core i9-1300K uh, with 32 gigs of RAM running at uh, 506,000 uh, MTS and my old pal, the 6800 XT. So, when I installed the 700 XT, uh, it looked like the same for me. It was like, okay, that's the same FPS. It's the same, I don't know, it's the same, it's the same, the same, the same. So uh, I stopped and wait to the end of the last day. So the end of this, the, the 6th of September. And I look into the guide that AMD sent us as a journalist to um, understand how AMD proposed to do this review. And it was like a, an enlightening moment for me because AMD wants want to compare it with the 6800, not with the 6800 XT. So, ah, hmm, okay, I understand. And then the other colleagues from um, New Zealand and the States make the same approach. Hey, hey, look, this is not a competition or there is not an upgrade from the 600, 6, uh, 6800 XT. It's from the 6800 only. Um, this is very awkward for AMD because now in this position, you don't know because the 6800 XT, it's at the same price that the 7800 is supposed to, to come to the market. So at the end, it's like, okay, we have the same card, but the 7800 is gonna be uh, costly versus the uh, 6800 XT. With this clarification uh, uh, on the table, we can now move to the performance. And um, I used to do it in this way in my channel because I don't have all the GPUs in the world like the other colleagues uh, in this industry uh, have uh, on hand, and in fact, we have only a couple of cards, mainly the cards that we use, like this 6800 XT that we have since 2020. And this is our main GPU for work and for gaming in our station. So it's difficult to, for me trying to put all the information like the others 
in the States and Canada and the Europe can, can do it in that way. So I like to try to do something like by myself and then go and watch what they are doing and try to get more information. And at the end for you, uh, the other side of the screen is, is value. Um, it has a value because probably you will find uh, different optics in a same video, um, different uh, journalists and reviewers uh, and experts trying to do the same and I can collect all the information and present it with my optic because this is my optic, this is my channel um, based on what I know about this industry uh, I can give you but yeah, probably I can make mistakes too uh, and at the end it's my opinion it's only my opinion, it's only an opinion uh, you will create and mold your own opinion about if there is a good GPU or not is a good GPU. Let's begin with this European channel, Tech Testers. I really love the way that she is doing uh, uh, all the benchmarking and reviews and building PCs. She's awesome. She is a really, really good professional in this. So 30 game summary, 1440p because this GPU is for that resolution specifically you can play in 1080 and you can play in 4k but um, the mainly objective of this uh, GPU is 1440p so 30 games again as a summary which you can see it is only the 7800 leading by 3% uh, versus the 6800 XT only 3% 3 so tiny tiny uh, difference Versus RTX 4060 Ti, it's 42% the difference. That's a huge difference. And probably mainly because the 7800 XT has 16, 16 um, DDR6 um, VRAM. And the 4060 Ti is only 8. So here there is a huge difference between the 700 XT and the 4060 Ti. But the real competition here is the 47 and still the 7800 XT is leading by only the 5%. So now let's take a flight and go to New Zealand or Australia, I don't know, but uh, those guys, Hardware Unbox, um, really good works uh, that they, they do also. Um, they did kind of the same, uh, 15 games average in 1440p, higher is better, and this is rasterization. This is not RTX, this is not ray tracing, this is only titles in rasterization. So, 700 XT, the average 108 FPS. The 6800 68, XT, 105, and the 47, 100. Two. At the end, you can see it. It's, it's like the same. The only weird thing, or not weird, you know, like in an awkward position, is the RTX 3080, 10 gigs. But it makes sense because uh, probably the VRAM is helping to have this kind of, of performance. But the, the 3080 is a very strange GPU nowadays to, to, to buy and even to find. So now let's do it. Oh, they did it. <laughs> let's uh, watch this six game average on 1440p, but in ray tracing. This is the, 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 the jewel, but this is only titles with ray tracing because the RTX 4070 is 76 versus the 7800-69 and the 6800-66. So, this is clearly the information that we have here and we can compare and it, it makes sense. Tech testers are saying uh, practically the same that uh, how we're unboxed and with our experience you can combine the three optics and you know that you, you can like uh, acknowledge that there is a pattern here that is true. The performance is kind of the same with 700 XT and 6800 XT, but with rasterization, 4070 is better than both. And 700 XT, it's better than the 4060 Ti. So 4060 Ti is trash and everybody knows. Everybody knows that 4060 Ti, there is, it, it's a GPU that don't deserve to exist, basically. But something that you have to have in mind is this is the benchmarkings of those people with my own benchmarkings and, and perceptions and, and um, ideas or opinions. But at the end, the brands 
have something under their table because they have biases. So what does it mean? It's like ASUS, Gigabyte, Palid, XFX, PowerColor, they will create a versions of this GPU, the 7800 XT, with different BIOS. And this BIOS will create the, uh, for example, in ASUS, uh, the Strix and the Tough Gaming, and there is also uh, different materials and different looks. The BIOS allow the GPU how much voltage they will have. So at the end, the performance is kind of different with different BIOSes. So at the end, probably the Strix 7800 XT will perform better than the Tough Gaming or a MSI Trio X or whatever other version of the GPU that you were thinking about. So these numbers are important, but have in mind, like for example, tech testers said that they will receive a gigabyte uh, 7800 XT that will have 5% of improvement because their own implementation. So um, you need to add uh, this uh, idea of the BIOSes and the different versions of the, on the, of the GPUs to these numbers and create a one uh, whole idea of, of, of the 7800 uh, XT. Conclusions. First, uh, the 7800 XT, yes, is a really good card for rasterization in 1440p. Um, definitely, I will recommend it if you are in that kind of budget, the $500. Um, don't think about the 6800 XT because that card doesn't have uh, the AV1 uh, encoding. In the 7800 XT, it's like uh, it, it has it. But it's not like a really great feature because I was testing, uh, editing, and doing other stuff, and it's kind of the same. So at the end, when you compare the 7800 XT in AV in AV one coding and coding with the Nvidia ones, uh, no, the Nvidia ones are better in the, in in that area. So for gaming, only gaming, 1440p rasterization. It's a really good card, the 7800 XT. And on top of that, the Fidelity FX Super Resolution or the FSR 3 uh, Generation uh, 3, uh, it's coming and they will like help a lot. And now with the new version of the Adrenaline, the, I don't know, like the 20.8, something like that, 20.9, whatever, the latest. You go to the MDA Adrenaline and click update and they will, uh, the, the app will give you the latest version, so don't worry about it. And if you are installing the 7800XT, go to AMD, AMD web page and look for the uh, that uh, 7800XT option for drivers, and they will give you the best driver and the, the, the latest one, so don't worry about that. But with that, with, with, the, with, the, la uh, with the latest over, um, Adrenaline Edition, you will have a new button that is called Hyper RX RX. Oh, Hyper Rex, excuse me. Hyper Rex. And at the end, it's like combining all the configurations that you can find in Adrenaline in terms of software, like Fidelity FX, like uh, anti lag and with one button, you will activate those and you will have more performance. But in raw performance, in rasterization, the 7800XT is a really good card. With the Hyper uh, Rex, it's even better. But have in mind that this is rasterization. And as, as, as you can watch it, um, ray tracing is much better in uh, NVIDIA's world. So the 4070 is better uh, GPU for RTX or rasterization plus RTX ray tracing. And on top of that, if you are a streamer in, and you need to do a streaming, the heavy one encoding, uh, the dual because if you want encode and decode separately in the 4070 on NVIDIA uh, in general, the idea is to have a 4070 if you are in a streamer or you are streaming all the time. So with, with your video list, your video games list, you have to be very careful in selecting or dividing how many games we have in rasterization, how many games we have with ray tracing. For me, it's important rasterization more than uh, ray tracing, or is the otherwise. It's for me more important the ray tracing. So if 
it's, it's more important ray tracing the rtx 4070 is your card in this line of budget but it's not still with the 7800x this is a really good card i mean um this is my 6800 xt this is my daily driver since 2020 and for budget i will not buy the 7800 xt because i have I, I want to move a step um upper or a step ahead from this line so i probably prefer the 7 uh, 7900 xt but if you don't have a 6800 xt and you are building a new computer and $500 is it's what you have for the budget and you are like 70% rasterization video games and probably some RTX and some RTX games not like uh, Cyberpunk or Dead Stranding other games definitely the 7800 XT is the card for you but if you're in your list and your library in, in Steam have the library has a lot of ray tracing titles definitely the 4070 it's the card for you forget entirely the 4060 ti that core is trash the even the 6800 xt is better than a 4060 ti so if you have in mind a 4060 ti forget that crap i'm thinking the 7800 xt so at the end yes i can recommend i can suggest the 7800 xt for gaming in 4 in, in 1440p but please do more research watch more videos watch more uh, benchmarkings um uh, versus between different different uh, uh, gpus and different versions i mean the bios can make a huge difference uh, I, I don't know if it's huge difference but six percent five percent between cards so at the end you probably will decide between a gigabyte 7800 xt versus an X asus strix probably or with the msi or with the palette or with the AK xfx um power port or the red devil i just imagine the, the red devil that they will put on the market it's a huge uh card the the, um, the red devil and, and is very um is very good in performance so at the end watch more inform you more to uh, make uh, a decision again thanks for the patience that you have uh, with my new challenging content in english it's the first time that i'm doing this in english since uh, 20, uh, 2008 2008 um, this is the first video that uh, since 2020 then um, when we start this new era in our technophilo.com putting more content uh, in, on video instead of writing uh, so since 2020 uh, for me this is a very different content I'm talking the same um, if you want to look my content, all my content is in Spanish. You are more than welcome to, to watch it. But for today, for this September 2023, I will push myself to produce more content in English, at least a couple of videos of, uh, in the month. And only your feedback will uh, tell me if, if you like this kind of content, if you like the way that I express myself. Um, my opinion and my optics are mine nobody will, nobody will take that uh, from me but the feedback of you it's the most important thing so please 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 write me on the comments if you like this um the criticism is uh, well received uh, as well uh, if you notice that i have to improve in something in the video in my voice in my language whatever please the feedback is for is very important for me in order to decide if i will continue uh, doing it at least for this year i will continue uh, produce uh, content in english uh, the same content that i'm doing uh, i will do it in english as well for this year and at the end of december I will, we will decide if we keep uh, going with this english version of the technophilo.com remember you can uh, find me in all social media networks and platforms as uh, at El Tecnofilo, uh, which is very awkward to say arroba El Tecnofilo in Spanish, but you will see it here with the bubbles. And um, thanks for watching me. Peace and prosperity for all.